Welcome Diecast fans, I'm Tom Spanners Watson and I'm Frank the Gary Gibbs and welcome to this very special Trucks vs Ute mini-series. That's right, we've always been partial to a nice ute or a pickup at the canyon and tonight we thought we'd battle it out and see which one's better. Right, let's have a quick look at the rules. These are head-to-head -head races, the heats are best of three, the finals best of five. Pretty easy, first across the line wins but if you flip over or go off track, you lose automatically as well. Like a lot of our other races, we like to have consequences for flipping over. Let's have a look at the drivers. First up, Stuntman Sam is bringing his Slayer in, the 62 Chevy C10. It's fast and dangerous. Then we've got Xanthope in the Zuru Buffalo that she's borrowed off Ron. I always thought it looked more like a Rhino than a Buffalo itself. Nick wanted to enter his Surf's Up, which is another 62 Chevy C10. I'm always amazed that surfboard doesn't just blow right out the back of that truck. And finally for the trucks we've got Mike Mays driving the Ford F-150 Lightning. I'm dying to see how this goes because we haven't had one of those on the canyon yet. Then in the Utes we've got Philip de Tank driving the 72 Ford Ranchero. I hope Nancy's not going to get jealous at Philip's driving something else. Glitch and the 71 El Camino. That door is so sparkly. Do you think he painted it that colour or is that just how it came from the records? And this beast of a custom ute from Idiot Luggage in the 67 El Camino. Wow, that is a huge donk in the back of that thing. And then finally we've got Grandma driving my 77 Holden HZ ute. I can't believe he let her drive that mate, she's going to wreck it. No mate, it'll be fine, she promised me she was going to look after it. I mean, you've seen Granny drive on the canyon right, she's crazy. Well, it's too late to worry about that now. Let's get into the racing. First up, we've got Stuntman Sam versus Philip the Tank. So, head to head races, best of three. Sam starts on the inside, we've got Philip the Tank on the outside. Now, Sam knows this is a race, not a stunt competition, right? Well, either way, he's about to find out. Sam out quick, he'll come out with the lead out of KM Corner. Nice over the jump. Philip the Tank in behind. No, oh, Sam with a bit of a spin, but holds on to the win. So Sam chalks up the first one for the trucks. Philip's gonna have to win this one if he wants to stay in it. He's quick out of the gate. They'll be fairly even out of KM, but Sam gets ahead. Holds on again. Oh, he's up on the side. But Sam, being a stuntman, manages to get it back under control. Yeah, that was a very tasty bit of driving from Sam. It should have been all over for him right there, but holds on and takes the win. So the first one moving through to round number two is Sam and the truck. Then we've got Xanthope versus Glitch. Xanthope in the inside lane, Glitch in the outside. Glitch's El Camino is quick, it was part of the Chevy showdown, that's why it's got all the bodywork because it took a pound in that competition, but it's still got a very quick engine in it. It's looking good, bit of a spin. Xanthope catches up but cannot do anything about it. Glitch takes the first win. They switch lanes. Glitch on the inside this time. We're looking to make it a clean sweep here. He's gonna come out of Kane with the lead. Looking good so far. Into Ka no, he rolls it in Kahuna corner. Hands the win to Xanthope. Yeah, that's really disappointing for Glitch. This El Camino is obviously very fast. He was nice and smooth through the jump, but then coming out of Kahuna corner here, just over the transition, he was just drifting a bit too hard, a bit too side on, and just rolled it. Hands the win to Xanthope. So evens up, it's now sudden death. Both these drivers, of course, used to high pressure races through the Outlaws. Glitch out quick again, they're gonna be coming out of KM even. But Glitch feeds it the jet or gets a hit through Kahuna Corner. Can he hold on? He does, takes the win. So that is now one truck and one ute moving on to round number two as Glitch takes the win. Now we've got Nick in his Chevy C10 versus that beast of a ute from Idiot Luggage. And that thing is just a work of art. That engine is spectacular. Although, now that he's put it in the tray, it kind of makes the ute a bit useless for carrying stuff. It's for racing, not hauling, mate. Nick out to an early lead. Nice and clean through Kahuna Corner. Takes an easy win there. They switch lanes. Idiot Luggage is going to have to feed it some jandle here if he wants to hold on. He's really going to want to give it two lots of beans to get there. He gets into the lead, but here comes Nick charging hard. Oh, an idiot luggage rolls it. But Nick goes around the outside very nicely, not content with an easy win. He wants to cross the finish line. Yeah, unfortunately for idiot luggage, I think that motor is just a little bit too high. That threw off a center of gravity and caused him to roll through Kahuna Corner just then. But well done, Nick. That was a nice bit of driving and crossing the line, even though you had a car in your way. 
Now the first time the F-150 Lightning has been on the track up against Grandma. She's gonna wreck your you. Hey, can you just stop that? The ute's gonna be fine. It's my pride and joy. I wouldn't let her drive it if I didn't think she could. I didn't say she can't drive. I said she's gonna trash it. Grandma out fast in the ute. Looking good so far, but here comes Mike. Mike jumps back to the lead. Grandma gets back in front. Mike tries to get around, but Grandma shuts the door in his face. Takes the first win. Yeah, that was some quality racing action right there, mate. I'm well impressed. And my ute is still in one piece. Day ain't over yet, mate. <laughs> right, they get underway after a bit of a false start there. Grandma's going to come out with the lead again. Can Mike catch up? No, he spins out. Grandma down to the finish line takes the win. Clean sweep over Mike. Yeah, Mike hasn't had much luck against Grandma in previous competitions. But that is now two trucks and two utes moving into round two. Let's see which one's got what it takes to win. All right, so we've got Stuntman Sam up against Glitch. Sam in the inside lane, Glitch in the outside. I think Glitch has got the pace, but he's just got to keep it under control if he's going to beat Sam. Glitch off to a fast lead here. Out of Cam with the lead. Oh, he rolls it going into Kahuna corner. Hands the win to Sam. That's really disappointing for Glitch again, rolling over. He was definitely fast there. He seemed to have the jump on Sam, but as he landed, he just really got it all kinds of wrong. Bounced up, flipped over, instant win to Sam. Yeah, so even though Sam didn't drive around him like Nick did in the previous race, it doesn't matter. He already picked up the win. Glitch looking for redemption this time. Well, if he doesn't, it's all over. He's going to come out of Kane with the lead yet again. Can he keep it together? Nicely through Kahuna corner. Oh, bit of a spin before the finish line, but takes the win. Evens the score. Now, this is still best of three, so next win takes it, moves on to the final. If Glitch really wants it, he's going to have to give it the beans here. Dead even through KM corner. Glitch tries to move around Kahuna corner. Oh, Sam spins, but still manages to cross the line. So Sam in the Slayer moves through to the final. But will it be another truck or a ute that joins him? Right, now we've got Nick versus Grandma. Nick in the inside, Grandma in that very nice holding you. He probably won't be quite so nice after this race when she trashes it. She's away fast, but Nick's going to come away with the lead out of KM. Here comes Grandma. She's all over him. How can you say that and I can't? Nick taking the first win. Nice bit of driving by Grandma there, but Nick takes the win very nicely under a lot of pressure from Grandma there. Grandma out quick. She's going to come out of KM with the lead here. Looking good. Nick gets a bit of a spin coming out of Kahuna corner, slows him down, Grandma gets the win, evens it up. This is it, sudden death race. Can Grandma take it and go through to the final so it'll be a truck versus you? Nick with the lead out of KM corner into Kahuna, very clean, looking good, goes down to the finish. Oh, and Grandma spins out. Oh, I think she's wrecked your ute, mate. Can you not? Jeez, who puts hand in your undies? <laughs> what are you even talking about? Can we just get back to racing? All right, Nick, well done, mate. Moving through to the final. So we are now going to best of five as we head into the final with two C10 Chevys. While I was hoping a Ute would be there, I do love this truck. Sam Slayer, I would think would be the better truck here with that huge engine in it. But Nick's been on form so far. Nick's going to come out of KM Corner with the lead here. He's looking good as he stretches that lead through Kahuna. Bit of a spin, and he's spinning out, and Sam goes past! Sam goes past right at the last minute. Nick had a huge lead, spins out, and I'm sure Sam crossed the line there. I don't know, I think Nick might have held on to it. Oh, it's so hard to tell. Can we get a slower shot of that? What a first race in the finals. We need to go overhead with that one. That was ridiculously close. Both these boys showing why they're in the final. Here we go. And Sam takes it with an absolutely brilliant last minute win. What a way to win it. So Stuntman Sam now goes 1-0 up. Takes the inside lane this time. Nick looking for redemption is out fast. They're dead even as they go over the jump. Nick gets the jump on Sam. Goes through for the win. Man, these boys are putting on a heck of a show tonight. Look at this. Side by side as they go over the jump into Kahuna Corner. Neither of them backing down. Both give it the beans there, but Nick comes out with a nice blind. He was just fractionally ahead of Sam, and he made the most of that. Takes the win, evens it up. That's two races down. There's still three to go. It's anybody's tournament at this stage. Neither of these boys are going to go down easy. Both want to prove something to the other drivers. Nick slightly ahead, goes through Kahuna nice and clean, looking good. Downs picks up another win. 
So that's now two to Nick, one to Sam. Sam has to win this next race if he wants to go to the tiebreaker. Nick out very quick here. Nick with the lead. And here comes Sam! Sam goes around the inside! He takes it! No! He blows it right at the end! And Nick goes through for the win! My goodness, what the heck happened there? Nick had it in the bag here, but look at this move from stuntman Sam! He gets up the inside so beautifully! What an amazing drive! Nick left the door open a fraction and Sam slammed his car right through it. And then, unfortunately for Sam, as they came into this finish straight here, he just bounced a bit wide. He tried to block Nick, but Nick goes through with a stunning win. Wow, that was just some incredible action. But congratulations, Nick. Your C10 surfs up as an absolute legend. That's right, that thing is a true weapon and you've proven that trucks are better than utes. I mean, in this first series, sure. Let's see how it goes next time, though. Cool. Let us know in the comments if you want to see another one. Well, we hope you enjoyed the racing tonight, and remember, we've got the rally coming up very soon, so keep an eye out for that one. That is going to be a huge tournament. It's about 10 weeks of racing, both Group A and Group N cars, and it should be a monster. That's right, we're gonna start with the hill climb where everybody vies for position based on their time, and that's gonna work out the seating for the rest of the tournament. All right, that's enough for today. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Tom Spanners Watson, he's Frank the Guru Gibbs, and we look forward to seeing you next time.